Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. And as the title says, this is an updated iPad printing video. Now, if you've watched my other video, you started watching it or you may have looked at it. It's one of the most popular videos I've ever done is how to print from the iPad. And we'll be printing through a Mac. So unfortunately for your Windows folks out there, I haven't found anything uh, to do this with. I'll start to dig around a little bit for that. But this is uh, my most popular videos, how to use a program that was called Hackivator. But Hackivator has been dismantled and it is gone and it's no longer there. So I want to show you a new program that I found that will allow us to print from the iPad or from your iPhone in your house and print right through to your printer. I found this great, great um, ability to do so because even when I have my iPhone out, uh, and I'm looking at something, I think, wow, I could really use a print of that particular whatever it is. I can just hit print, select my printer, and I can hear my printer running uh, in my office. I go and I pick up my print jobs. So it's wireless. It works uh, very much as a wireless uh, uh, solution. But the thing I have to uh, remind you is you have to have a Mac to actually start this. So let's go ahead and have a look at the software now, and I'll show you where to find it. Okay, so here we are now on the computer, and the program that I found for you is from a company called Netputing. It's N-E-T-P-U-T-I-N-G, and it can be found at netputing.com. Again, N-E-T-P-U-T-I-N-G.com. And the program you're looking for now is called HandyPrint. And this is version 3.1. Now, and I've read through this a couple times. I don't really catch uh, what the difference is between the different versions. So I downloaded version 4 because I thought well, I want the newest one anyway. So I downloaded version 4 and um, it's a simple download. So if you've never done this before, just click on download and you're going to go here and you can download version 4.1 B5 is the current version. Uh, it's going to download to your computer in a zip format. So hopefully you understand zip and compressed files and know how to work with those. And what you need to do then is just simply, I'm just going to say show and finder here. We're just going to right click on this and just unzip it. All right. So open with uh, archive utility. We'll unzip the program. And then the program is right up here, handy print. And if you double click it, it's going to install it. Now, I've already installed it on this particular computer, so it's ready to go. It's so easy to use and so easy to set up that I don't even know why I'm doing this video. But I know that a lot of you out there have been waiting for this updated program, and I've been getting thousands and thousands of emails about this video. So we're going to go ahead and uh, show you the program. You'll find the program in your system preferences once it installs. And where it's located at is right down here under Other. It says Handy Print. We click on Handy Print. It looks just like this. Now, here is something I have to stress. This says Trial Version. It expires in 14 days. Okay. Now, don't let that throw you off and say, well, you know, Jack usually shows us free software. Now he's showing us something that's paid. It's very, very inexpensive, and all the developers asking you for is something. Um, and I know I've written a lot of software, and, and you know I've given a lot of stuff away for free. And it is nice to get the thank yous, but people put a lot of time and effort and sweat into these software programs. So it's nice if you give them something. And what I did was I clicked on licenses, and if you read this, get a license. It just says if HandyPrint is working properly, if you like it, and you're using the software, it works fine for you. Then give a small donation of whatever you think it's worth. It could be $2, it could be $5, it could be $50 if you feel it's worth that much. And folks, if you're using this in your office environment, and I have other solutions we can use in offices too, but if you're using this in an office environment, give the guy, you know, 25 bucks or something. Give him 50 bucks. I mean, it's going to save you a ton of time when you go to print from those iPads. So you pull in there, hit donate via PayPal, and then you will receive a license in the email. You can then go ahead and enter your licensing information, and it will be good forever. So let's go ahead now. We're going to show you how this works. So all I got to do here, I have a printer hooked up to my Mac here, naturally. So I'm just going to click on on. And when you do that, automatically it finds my DeskJet F4100 connected. That's all I got to do. 
Now that printer is being advertised out to my iOS devices and it's ready to go. And I'm going to show you that. I'm going to attempt to show you that now here if we can do this. Um, we're going to try to view this. Uh, see here. For first, first, we're going to view it on my iPhone. And I'll show you here because I was playing around earlier. And uh, now let's go back here. We'll pull up an email. So here's an email I have open on my phone. I'm going to simply click on the send to button, click on print. And I'm going to get this little menu here. It says select the printer. Hopefully you can see this. Okay. Select the printer. And there is my DeskJet F4100. I simply select that. And then I click on print and it sends it right to my printer. The same thing with the iPad. So let's see if we can get this okay, if you can view this all right. Again, I just bring it up here. This time I'll bring up, I'll try to bring up a web page. Let's see if this works. And we'll do send to print. Bring us up here. Select the printer, and there's my printer again on my iPad, and that's in the web browser. So it works. Oops, maybe you didn't see that. Maybe I clicked that off there so you didn't see that. But there it is in the web browser, if you can see that, the DeskJet uh, F4100. So you click on that, click print, and off on the printer it goes. It works extremely well. I haven't found any problems with it on my computer. And I am running all the latest updates uh, with uh, 10 point, uh, what version are we running at this point here? About this Mac, 10.7.5. Uh, so it is a mountain lion with all of the updates in it. And everything uh, is up to date. So make sure your computer's up to date, but it should work really, really well for you also. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. I hope it helped you uh, because like I said, I've been getting thousands of emails. Uh, this is one of my most ever viewed uh, YouTube videos uh, is how to print from an iPad. So I hope that handy print is uh, what you need to take care of your uh, situation there and print from your iOS device. You do need a computer to host it, but other than that, it works extremely well. Thanks again uh, for watching Jack's Tech Corner. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube videos, please click the subscribe button now. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time here on Jack's Tech Corner. So long for now.